What's up guys, welcome to your uh, 14th, I think, PHP tutorial. And today I'm going to be talking about a special kind of loop in an array called the for each loop. Now, if you learn the last array, then you're going to thank me so much after you learn this one, because it's a hundred times easier. The reason we would use the last one when we had an array is when we wouldn't exactly want to list every single element and we wanted to increment it by two or we wouldn't want to start with the first one or anything like that. But each time you just want to plain old just spit out elements of array one after another there's a ten times easier way to do this. So first of all let me just create a basic array and you can do this either two ways. I'm gonna use the first one we learned about. So I'm gonna just say one two and three and now we have three elements in our arrays and I'm using string of text but you can use number if you want and the last time we used just a basic for loop but this time we're going to use a special thing called for each and what this does is it allows us to go through the loop and it's gonna do it automatically without us even telling the parameters or anything because it knows when we type for each that it doesn't need parameters the only thing that we need to type is test as in most people just use the variable x this first one has to be whatever array you're wanting to loop through and this variable x we're going to talk about right now we're going to say echo and then this is where we type variable x so this is what this means we have an array called test right here just a basic array and it says for each element of x which you're gonna assign right here echo it out on the screen so every test element in the array echo on the screen and of course just end the semicolon right there to let them know it's ending line save it and as you can see it echoed it right on the screen one two three so as you can see it's still the last time where you had to type a bunch of parameters like x is equal to zero define it then less than or equal to if you just want to go through a basic array and spit out all the elements you have in your array this does it automatically and you can use the same one if you add an element to the array later on and you want to spit it out later just use the exact same syntax and it will automatically update for you so as you can see this is about a hundred times easier than what we learned before I just wanted to get you guys learning the hard stuff so once you understand that this all should be a piece of cake so watch my tutorial next. I don't know what we're going to learn, but it's probably going to be useful. See ya.